Good evening, preschoolers. I miss you guys so much, but I've been keeping in contact with your parents and they've been telling me that you guys are doing great. I want you to keep up the good work. I thought that I would read you a story today because you guys know that reading stories is my most favorite thing. So I'm gonna read from one of my favorite authors, Robert Munch. Remember, an author writes a story. He writes the words to books. So Robert Munch is an author and he wrote a bunch of stories. And one of my favorites is called The Paper Bag Princess. So this is by Robert Munch, he's the author, and it's illustrated by Michael Marchenko. He is the illustrator that makes him, he is the person that draws the pictures. The Paper Bag Princess. Elizabeth was a beautiful princess. She lived in a castle and had expensive princess clothes. She was going to marry a prince named Ronald. Unfortunately, a dragon smashed her castle, burned all her clothes with his fiery breath, and carried off Prince Ronald. Elizabeth decided to chase the dragon to get Ronald back. She looked everywhere for something to wear, but the only thing she could find that was not burnt was a paper bag. So she put on the paper bag and followed the dragon. He was easy to follow because he left a trail of burnt forests and horses' bones. Finally, Elizabeth came to a cave with a large door that had a huge knocker on it. She took hold of the knocker and banged on the door. The dragon stuck his nose out of the door and said, well, a princess. <laughs> I love to eat princesses, but I have already eaten a whole castle today. I am a very busy dragon. Come back tomorrow. He slammed the door so fast that Elizabeth almost got her nose caught. Elizabeth grabbed the knocker and banged on the door again. The dragon stuck his nose out of the door and said, go away. I love to eat princesses. But I've already eaten a whole castle today. I'm a very busy dragon. Come back tomorrow. Wait, shouted Elizabeth. Is it true that you are the smartest and fiercest dragon in the whole world? Yes, said the dragon. Is it true, said Elizabeth, that you can burn up to ten forests with your fiery breath? Oh, well, yeah, yeah, oh yes, said the dragon. And he took a huge deep breath. And he breathed out so much fire that he burnt up 50 forests. 50. Fantastic, said Elizabeth. And the dragon took another huge breath and breathed out so much fire that he burnt up 100 forests. Magnificent, said Elizabeth, and the dragon took another huge breath, <sighs> but this time nothing came out. The dragon didn't even have enough fire left to cook a meatball. I think Elizabeth here did something. She tricked him. She tricked him so that he doesn't have any fire. Why do you think she did that? I think it's because now he can't use fire to hurt anything else or anybody else. Elizabeth said, Dragon, is it true that you can fly around the world in just 10 seconds? Why, yes, said the dragon, and jumped up and flew all the way around the world in just 10 seconds. He was very tired when he got back, but Elizabeth shouted, Fantastic, do it again! Think she's gonna play another trick on him. So the dragon jumped up and flew around the whole world in just 20 seconds. When he got back, he was too tired to talk and he laid down and he went straight to sleep. How did she trick him this time? Now he's too tired. 
he's asleep. Elizabeth whispered very softly into the, into the dragon's ear. Hey, dragon. The dragon didn't move at all. She lifted up the dragon's ear and put her head right inside. She shouted as loud as she could, hey, dragon. The dragon was so tired, he didn't even move. Elizabeth walked right over the dragon and opened the door to the cave. There was Prince Ronald. He looked, her, looked at her and said, Elizabeth, you are a mess. You smell like ashes. Your hair is all tangled and you are wearing a dirty old paper bag. Come back when you are dressed like a real princess. Well, that wasn't very kind, was it? Elizabeth tried to save him and he didn't treat her nicely, did he? Ronald, said Elizabeth, your clothes are real pretty and your hair is very neat. You look like a real prince, but you are a bum. And they didn't get married after all. That was the end of the paper bag princess. What did you think of the story? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Tell me why. Tell a parent why you liked it or didn't like it. Let's go over parts of the story. The characters in this story, we had Elizabeth, Ronald, and the dragon. There were only three characters in this story. The setting of the story is where the story takes place. Where did this all happen? Well, it did start at the castle, but then we ended up at the dragon's cave. There was a problem in this story. What was the problem? The problem was that the dragon blew up her castle. He demolished her castle and stole her beloved prince. So what was the solution? How did Princess Elizabeth solve that problem? She went and tried to find the dragon to try and save Ronald. That's how she solved that problem. And she made sure that the dragon was super tired and completely out of fire so that she could save Ronald without getting hurt. Those are the parts of the story. I hope you enjoyed this read aloud. I love you and miss you guys. Bye.